guys welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the OXA USA um, this is the model 5300 Bluetooth stereo speaker and uh, as you can see NFC Bluetooth uh, 3.5 um, millimeter is the line in it's pretty common for most uh, um, devices to plug into it if you wanted to just plug in and not use Bluetooth let's take a quick look at the back and as you can see, portable the digital speaker, compatible with MP3 players, PCs, PDAs. Um, and if you want pause the video, take a look at this. Um, one thing I can see is it's only going to get you about 40 to 60 minutes um, of music. So not a long battery life. Um, but uh, other than that, you can also do SD MMC card for support, which is really cool. Uh, so let's just go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. I want to thank uh, OXA USA for sending this to the show for a review and uh, appreciate them supporting the show. So let's go ahead and open this up and you get a nice little microfiber cloth right, right out of the gate. Kind of surprising but cool. Um, a little survey card. And then we've got some looks like some stuff to put on the bottom so it won't slide. You get a 3.5-3.5 jack, and then you get a micro USB cable, and then you get the actual Bluetooth speaker itself. It looks like I have acquired a lime green or green to say and this is available in a lot of different colors uh, let me flip the box here out of the way take a quick look at the colors on the box as you can see pink blue red orange mint green apple green white and pearl black are your options and there may even be more now but so let's go ahead and take a look at the box as you can see it's wood or maybe it's eh, maybe hard plastic. Uh, so most of the connections looks like to be on this side. You've got your uh, USB and auxiliary, another USB, um, and then a card. So you can actually play music from a, a kind of an SD card on this, which is neat. Because uh, it's upside down. There's their logo, speaker, speaker, bottom for feet. Then this is uh, the battery is fully charged before using. So this is your battery area. We'll just leave that on for now. And then of course it's got speaker on the side there. So um, NFC back here, so we can just peel this off. So there we go. That is. What's it looks like? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna pause the video. We're gonna get this hooked up, and we're gonna see how it sounds. Be right back, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. And we've got this all hooked up and connected, and we're gonna go through a quick demonstration. So you can see the front of the um, unit here, and I'll have to really get it close because these are a little dim down here. But these are actual controls. They're just touchscreen controls, and you can see they're kind of dimming out to save some battery juice uh, as you move it and get closer. They kind of come and go. And go. Uh, this really doesn't put a time or anything on the screen, but you can fast forward, uh, rewind, fast forward, you've got uh, volume up and down, you've got menu, and if you can push that menu, you can see now we're on a radio, uh, this is line, <clears throat> and then back to Bluetooth. So I've actually got this paired with my iPhone, it's real simple, you just look for it in your Bluetooth settings, so if we come into here, and I go ahead and click play. You can see it's playing. I can increase the volume. 32 is the max. And we just hold it and the volume goes down. So that is one way to play it is through Bluetooth. So we'll go ahead and cut the music on that. As I mentioned other ways, you can have a line. This is a direct line, so I could plug this into a headphone jack. 
and plug this into the line right here. I just have a direct line, kind of like someone would do with a car that has a uh, a player or an iPod connection or something. Uh, you just plug that into your iPod and into your car and you play it that way. Kind of the same approach, it's just a line. Again, the other way you could do this is if you wanted to insert a micro SD card, it fits right in the slot right here, and you can put it in here and it'll start playing it. Now, you see it actually adjusted to the radio when I put that in because it is not going to detect any music in there. So let's go ahead and change it back to USB. There's your line input, Bluetooth. Back to radio. So we'll go back to the line. Now, I've got an MP3 on this USB. I plug this in, it should start playing. Notices the MP3 right away and starts playing. From the USB drive. So, turn that off, eject my USB. So, and another thing I wanted to point out too, you notice it has FM radio, which is really pretty cool. Uh, why is this sticking out? Okay, when you're using it in radio mode, this acts as an antenna. So it says it's good to have something plugged into the micro USB. And that actually, I tried it without, and the, and the signal wasn't super. I heard a little static, a little not perfect audio. Once I did plug this in, the reception did improve quite a bit and sounded a lot better. So that does work. <clears throat> so that's pretty nice. Um, you know, overall, you know, it'd be kind of more functional if maybe it had a clock on it or something, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, again, you're only going to get like an hour or so from the battery. Uh, those are really the only limitations. It's not overly loud. Um, you know, this might be good for like a a cube, uh, like if you're at work and you can't have a very high volume audio, you just you want to disturb your neighbors. This would be great. Or if you just want some low. Uh, sound so when you're working or reading this would be great don't think it's going to like be the centerpiece of a party and jam the music and tunes out there because it's just not going to do that and it's only going to last an hour so you're going to have a short party but anyway this is a pretty cool device um, also I did want to point out it does say NFC down here uh, so if you have an NFC enabled phone you can tap that uh, it's going to pair with your phone and you can play it through NFC, you don't have to do Bluetooth um, or anything like that, it's just going to pair it automatically so you don't have to go through the whole setup. So that's another cool little feature that it's got built into it. Other than that, I think we've covered everything uh, about the AXA um, stereo speaker here. And uh, again, let's back back to the case. And this is the Mini, it says, so more juice, more life. And the model is a 5300. And everything I've touched upon, you can see uh, line in, FM, USB, and then the uh, TF slot, Bluetooth, NFC. All covered, all good stuff. So anyway guys, I, I would say this is worth it. Uh, the price is not very high, and for what it does, and for what's your purpose of getting it for, uh, it would it would fit the bill. Like I said, don't go out expecting like high quality sound and loud. Um, you're going to pump this to a party and then are outside, and it's really going to make a lot of difference. It's not. It's more of a desk speaker. Uh, probably why it's kind of built like this. Like I said, it'd be kind of cool if they put like a clock function on it, but it does not have that. Uh, it'd be nice to just see like it as a clock radio um, or alarm clock or something would be nice, but not built into it, at least not a, that I can see or even yet, or maybe that's a future enhancement maybe coming down the road. Who knows? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. And if you're interested in this, check the show notes. I will have a link to where you can get it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.